Hey guys, I'm Craig from Guru Solar Academy. Today, I will introduce the BV Master for our hybrid inverters. This is the ET system installing our new factory, and I will use it to show you the operations on it. In order to use PV Master to manipulate an ET, we need to connect our phone to the inverter by Wi-Fi. Search for the solar Wi-Fi with the last eight characters of the inverter serial number. Okay, connected. Open the PV Master. Click the inverter we connected. Okay, here we have the overview page, but I will skip this part first as I will introduce the commission of the inverter. On settings page, we can find the basic settings at the top. Click it and we need to insert the default password G O O D W E 2010. For the new installations, you need to finish the following settings to make the inverter work. The first step is select safety. Choose your country and the grid type. Here we choose China highest, then click next. The second step is select work mode. Here are four built-in work modes for our hybrid inverters using different scenarios. The first one, general mode. It is a widely used operation mode keeping a high self-use rate of PV power. The supply priority of PV power is loads, battery, and then grid. The second one, backup mode. This mode is to save battery power for emergency use during utility outage, which means the battery will not discharge when grid is on. The third one is off-grid mode. We can learn from the name that it means hybrid inverter will work without utility. If we set this mode, it will work solely even with the physical AC connection to the utility. The fourth one is the economical mode. Unlike the previous three modes, this mode allows the user to define the battery charge or discharge time and power based on the demand. So let's choose general mode. Okay, success! Okay, next step, select battery model. Different GUI hybrid inverters are compatible with different battery models. You can check the approved battery options statement on our official website. The high voltage batteries brand compatible with ET are Pilot Tech, BYD, and our own brand. Here we choose Pilot Tech's high voltage battery. The last one is meter test. This function is to check whether the connections between the small meter and the CTs installed are correct. So we've completed the basic settings. After that, we can monitor status and the real-time data locally on PV Master. On the overview page, there is a visual diagram showing the operation status and the basic settings we've configured. By clicking Loads, we can also see the real-time loads running at both backup and on -grid ends. On Param page, we have the detailed system data including the PV array, the connected battery, and the inverter in data tab. Okay, we've introduced the basic settings and the local monitoring on PV Master. Apart from these fundamentals, the functions in the advanced settings can support different application scenarios. The first one is export power limit. To activate this function, turn it on and set the max power allowed to export to the grid. For three-phase hybrid inverter like ET or BT, if phase level zero export is required in your country, you can turn on grid connected side unbalance output function and then it will output power to supply the unbalanced loads within its limit. Shadow scan can reduce the power loss due to the shades on the solar modules. Backup supply is on position as default. 
off-grid output switch will only be displayed when grid is off and should be turned on if we need to enable backup output. Our factor is to output certain reactive power. Grid quality detection needs to switch to backup mode when the grid quality is not good and a low sensitivity is for adjusting the detection sensitivity. Communication address is used to set up mode bus address for the inverter which is one of the necessary steps of the ET parallel connection solution. You can refer to our technical article about the detailed information. SOC protect is for protecting the lifespan of the battery. Once it is activated, the DOD for both on-grid and off-grid status can be set according to the practical demand. Ok, we've went through all the functions in the advanced settings. We also have some convenient functions for the users. Wi-Fi configuration is to connect the inverter to a local Wi-Fi router for monitoring on SAMS portal. Find and connect to your local router in the drop-down list, then type in the Wi-Fi password. Please pay attention that the password here is your Wi-Fi router's password. Here, DHCP is on as the router we use enables dynamic IP addresses. If your router distributes static IP address, please disable DHCP and fulfill the information in each of the following section. And Wi-Fi diagnosis to check the inverter's network status and the Wi-Fi router's information. The meter test we put here again is for you to test the meter and the CTs in case you change them after the installation. What information can we get if any problem occurs to the system? First, on overview page, we can check the status of the hybrid motor and any run settings made when commissioning. Second, the alarms tab in parameter page will demonstrate both real-time and historical faults with detailed fault code, description, and corresponding solution. Third, the diagnose message in settings gives you the detailed description of the inverter's real-time working status. According to the above information, users can refer to the Q&A in settings to find a suitable solution based on our technical experience, or directly forward to our professional after-sales team for further assistance. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment. See you next time.